Hello, I'm Dr. Stephen Hassan, and I wanted to record this video about a new best-selling book that just came out called Build the Life You Want, The Science of uh, Happiness, Pursuing Happiness. Um, it's been written by Arthur C. Brooks, who has uh, been writing a column at The Atlantic and is a Harvard professor, social scientist, and Oprah Winfrey. And I learned about the book by listening to Arthur's uh, interview with Scott Barry Kaufman on the Psychology Podcast. And I had never heard of Arthur C. Brooks. So naturally, uh, I had heard of Oprah. Uh, in fact, I was on her show twice, once when she was not yet famous. I think it was People Are Talking in Baltimore. Um, and then in 1989, after my first book, Combating Cult Mind Control, came out, I was an, an expert on a show about the Church Universal and Triumphant cult uh, that was at the time building uh, bunkers because Elizabeth Clare Prophet said Russia was going to nuke us, so she was going to build, you know, these these facilities and charge people a lot of money. Uh, and it was an interesting show because one of her daughters was out, critical, and one was in. In any case, uh, I wanted to first compliment the two of them because the book is really valuable. And I agreed with 90 to 95% of everything that was in the book. And I can go point by point of agreement, uh, including uh, the importance of having purpose and spirituality. Uh, and I believe in being a lifelong learner myself and being a teacher, which is why I've been doing the work I've been doing ever since I left the Mooney's cult in 1976. The big, big, big warning red flag is that Arthur C. Brooks is proselytizing for Opus Dei. Now, Opus Dei is a Catholic group that the bite model of authoritarian control has been filled out. I have counseled people who were raised in the Opus Dei cult. I mentioned Opus Dei in the Cult of Trump book in chapter 7. And I just, the big missing link in the entire book is creating a more vigilant consumer awareness uh, about authoritarian destructive cults that use deception and control people's behavior, information, thoughts, and emotions something what I call the bite model of authoritarian control. In fact, I did my doctoral dissertation doing a quantitative study of the bite model that could be used in courts of law. And the bite model fits within the framework of what I call the influence continuum. And I want people to think ethical influence, unethical influence. Ethical groups, you have informed consent. You have encouragement to have conscience. You're encouraged to read whatever you want to read, talk to whoever you want to talk to, including ex-members and critics. And you're free to leave without fear or threats or intimidation or threats that you're going to hell versus the authoritarian mind control cults where people are being programmed to be in the image of the group and the group leader, where there's phobia programming, where there is information, thought, and emotional control mechanisms to keep people trapped. And I've become aware of a major trafficking lawsuit against Opus Day by, I believe it's 40 plus women 
who were promised to have education and they were basically slave labor with taken it totally taken advantage of for decades so love the book but all i can say is oprah arthur please learn about cult mind control and please do an updated edition where you can teach people how to judge for themselves whether a group is healthy or unhealthy and my model by the way is not just for religious groups it can be for political groups therapy groups multi-level marketing groups even governments uh, because i believe in human rights i believe in minority rights women's rights gay rights indigenous rights and the right to change your mind and find out that you know what this isn't working for me anymore and so let me explore other options and one of the horrendous things about mind control cults i know this because of the moonies is the installation of phobias or irrational fears in people's minds especially in religious cults that if you leave the group you're leaving God, that your your soul is condemned forever and Satan and evil demons are going to take you over. And this is not a, not a healthy thing. And uh, I really urge anybody um, who is involved with a controversial group in any way, shape, or form to look at my TEDx talk, How Can I Know If I've Been Brainwashed? And look at my four-step reality testing uh, suggestion. Because if something is true, it will stand up to scrutiny. And in my opinion, any religious group that claims to be doing God's will, I believe in a God of love and truth and compassion and service to others, not of lying, withholding vital information, threats, fear, intimidation, lawsuits, trafficking, which is fraud, force, or coercion. So read the book, but don't join Opus Day, please. And Oprah, please step back and understand you are doing so many good things uh, and have been, but you've also been I believe, promoting a lot of unhealthy spiritual groups from lack of an awareness that there really are very scientific coded factors to analyze whether a group is doing unhealthy brainwashing or mind control. So come to my website, freedomofmind.com. Please check out my influence continuum, my bite model, my doctoral dissertation link is on the website. And I have courses now that I've put up. Uh, come and learn. And uh, if you disagree with what I have to say, email me. Uh, I'm at center at freedomofmind.com. Thanks very much.